Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we're cooking out of our cookbook, which is called Be a Plant-Based Plant -based Woman Warrior. Live fierce, stay bold, eat delicious. And this one is the spiralized edition, which oh, is fabulous. <laughs> My mom was like, Jane, I have something for you. And she gave this to me. I didn't see the, this. And I was like, you're giving me our book and i was like oh my gosh so it's awesome it just mm. it open it's so easy to follow the recipes now i mean i think it's sort of adorable how um our because some of our books are just ancient and encrusted and half baked with and falling apart yeah and um so this is on this is the recipe we're doing today is called cala roasted cauliflower and broccoli bites. bites on page 183 if you're following along so here we go it's really quite easy, and you start by taking a head of broccoli and a what's this a head of? Bro cauliflower. <laughs> Thank you. And a head of broccoli, and cut it into bites. And so here we go. Do you want to do broccoli or cauliflower? Um, <clears throat> either one. Okay. You want your red knife as usual? I don't know. So you just got. We, you can cut the stem um, off and just cut into 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 bites and just put them in here. Are you falling behind, Ann? You want to trade? Yeah. <laughs> I, I want you to, to show that. Oh, well, this, yeah, this is a wrestling match. So just cut out, cut out the stem. And if you want to eat the stem, cook the stem, use it for your soup or your stock, you go. And then you can go spin your own yarn and <laughs> suck your own beans. And, I know, I'm kidding. If you do that, bless you. Um, but get this stock off. Sometimes I, I, mean, I, I think that's big. Do you? Yeah, make that smaller. Well, you did that. Oh, so I, I kind of here, <laughs> then, like, like this. This is a good. This is a good like that size, you know. So just make into bites. Because the they, thing about these is they get smaller as they, they get cook. a little bit smaller, but not a ton smaller. So um, get them in there. And if you have some small ones, it's kind of nice um, having crumb crumbles uh, as well. So what we're going to do with this? We get these little bites in here, and we add just the littlest of seasonings to roast it with um, and we're going to add and I have it right here actually we're, um, if you have minced minced garlic or no minced onion which is can you see that texture of that stuff Wade it, it's chunks I mean, this is horrible it's a horrible way to try to show minced it onion. minced onion um, it's like dehydrated little pieces not just garlic powder or onion powder it's got some chunks to it and then I have a wonderful um, what, this is a, it's called backyard garlic, and it's just hunk and chunks of dried garlic, and you just grind it up, so you're getting your own freshly ground dried granules. Um, and you put about a tablespoon, or let me do it right, let me, let me do it properly. A teaspoon of minced onion and a teaspoon of dried garlic granules. So we're going to see how much I have coming out of here. Ready? I don't think anything's coming out. There, is that about a teaspoon? Oh, oh good. Is that about a teaspoon? Maybe it's, sure. Mm. I'm going to do a little extra for good measure because that might have been like, doesn't that smell amazing? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, and then we're going to do a, a teaspoon of minced onion. You get you showed me the power of this stuff because you cook with this stuff a lot. Only a teaspoon? Uh, yeah, that was a teaspoon. It seems a tiny amount. I know, I know. And then, um, and then black sesame seeds. I think I have about a teaspoon left of those. A little shy of it, maybe. Um, and then some poppy seeds, which I know I'm out of. So I'm going to add some um, some white sesame seeds to this. To this, a couple white ones. So we have white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds. If you have poppy seeds, great. Um, and then we add in a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. You know what? I'm doing this a little differently than the recipe. Usually, the recipe you, you make all this stuff together and then add it. I'm putting it all in here together. Um, we're going to do a tablespoon of water. And the reason I'm saying this is because some people have had a hard time with our cookbook. The instruction section, which is not the ingredient section, has the addition of water. So look here. It says in a bowl, combine all one tablespoon of water and the tamari and the onion and the garlic all stuff. So I'm doing this wrong per our instructions. <laughs> no, but the problem with the water is cookbooks do not put water in the ingredients, which is ridiculous. Well, it's some some cookbooks don't some. do that. So we're adding a tablespoon of water, and can you get some big spoon, mm -hmm. like a mm -hmm. big spoons? 
so we can toss it <coughs> and then a tablespoon of tamari oh my gosh I'm gonna try I'm gonna, that was an overflowing so I'm gonna put a little bit of it back okay now we just toss 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 and toss. you put the nutritional yeast in? nope it goes to the end toss 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 Actually, it would be easiest to toss this with your hands. <clears throat> yeah, it would be. Then you get all the seeds in your hands. I've done it that way a plenty. Now, this is a big piece. So, yeah, make sure that they're little bites. Well, these little are bites. big bites, I think. Um, okay, so these all get covered in seeds. Tamari, a little water. The water and the tamari help the seeds and the garlic and the onion, minced garlic and ground, ground garlic and minced onion stick to these bits. And while you toss that, I'm going to get um, the, the tr tray we need, which is buried in my trays. Okay. This is amazingly delicious. And somehow I find... Right, wait, can we put it right here? Can you view us? We're going to pour it on the tray. Ready? Pour all, get all that stuff out. Maybe like a tovalo. Is your tovalo visible? Just, let's get all the... All the pieces. We need our tovalo. Where's our tovalo? All those seeds and have their they have the water and the tamari in them, so they've got the flavor. Try to get all the chunks out you can. Okay. Here. Nice. So now is the nutritional yeast mounting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put nutritional yeast atop everything. Okay. And I have been the fortunate person to be able to eat this all the time here. And I haven't made it. I haven't watched it. I haven't made it yet. Speaking of making it, oven preheated to 400. And we're going to cook this for about how long? 25 minutes. Or until it seems like it's done. So let's kind of... Before we put it in, though, we're going to put two tablespoons of nutritional yeast on top of everything. Wait, wait. Here we go. I just... That's one. And two. So this just sort of gives everything a little kind of... It feels almost this like... This guy a, got... Oh, darn. She is covered now. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this in the oven for 25 minutes at 400, and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, here is our tray of roasted cauliflower and broccoli bites. And they are delicious looking <gasps> and they're cool a little bit actually. So we're gonna try some and Wade, Wade, do you wanna try cauliflower or broccoli? I'm gonna give you one of each. I'm gonna give you one of, one of each. And let's give you a big broccoli and a cauliflower. Mm. Not hot. There you go. There you go. Gosh, mm. these are amazingly mm. good. Oh my God. Well, that has roast, that has some. Um, Nutritional yeast on it. Try that. Try that. Oh. Mm. I could just stand here and eat the whole tray. It's like popcorn. Uh, it's like popcorn. Yeah. Wade's saying, like, he's going like this. Yeah, me too, me too. Uh -huh. So, but Wade asked a great question when we pulled this out. He's like, that looks so good. Can, can you do other vegetables? And that's one of our tips here in the cookbook is um, actually our granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, our child. My daughter. granddaughter. <laughs> your niece. Mine. <laughs> she had all kinds of suggestions. She said, you know, when you're baking this, if you don't have cauliflower, just do broccoli. If you don't have broccoli, just do cauliflower. Or add in cherry tomatoes, onions, Brussels sprouts, zucchini. What else? What else did she say? <laughs> Summer squash. Summer squash. Um, um, I can't think. There's so, there's so many vegetables. Anyway. I can't think of any. <clears throat> it, it is. Vegetables have a little, little body to them. When you chop them up. It, this makes eating cauliflower, broccoli, any vegetables so easy. And you can it's have this so delicious. as a side dish, like as a part of a meal. I mean, if you just had it around, that's all I want to eat all day. I know. Um, it's a, I hate you saying side dish because we don't, I mean, we just have, we usually just eat big bowls, which makes me want to say, have this as one of the toppings on your bowls, you know, grains, greens, beans, uh, tempeh, and this. Just, Jane, I would not like that because it would... It would dissipate this deliciousness. Somehow no. there's, you know, yeah, that's fine. But I just, to me, 
just in a English raft plane. would be great. It, 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 it's good anywhere. Let us know where you make your, well, where you use your roasted cauliflower and broccoli bites. And mm. do you go first to the cauliflower or do you go first to the broccoli? That's a great question. <laughs> Bye. Bye.